Hey everyone, I am here today to talk to you about this journey that I'm on and I just want to give it an update because it is real and it's here and it's going to happen. I know I've had other kind of things going on and they didn't happen but this is going to happen because it's me doing it depending on nobody else so I know it's going to happen. Um, as you know, I was a stay-at-home mom for many years not for the whole time, but for many years. And I have like an empty nest syndrome. I don't know who I am. I can't, I have to find myself. Um, I'm not myself like I used to be where I used to go. I was, oh, I was a loner. I did things alone. And, you know, you just didn't kind of depend on people. And, and for 25 years, I have been in this structure safety zone for 25 years. And it's time for me to move on because I don't have the responsibilities that I used to have um, about my daughter and things like that. You know, you're not as needed as much. Once you get over the fact that you're not needed anymore and you get over that little depression hump, life doesn't look so bad. <laughs> but let me tell you, you go through a little thing because I sure did. Anyway, I love the outdoors. I love the mountains. I love going to new places. I love doing new things. And I do not like living in Florida. It's too hot. As I have whined many times on my videos. It is too hot. Summer is coming. This will probably be my last summer that I will have to be in Florida. I am going to try to find a place to go camping for the whole month of August. Out of the state of Florida. I'm still looking. I'm not giving up. Um, so I will be here for part of it, but I have a plan. As this moment goes right at this second, I am saving my money to buy a Class C camper. Now, a Class C camper is one that you drive. It's all attached. Um, sort of like, a tr I guess, a truck camper. You know, it has the thing over the or you pull, I think it's also if you pull it. But I want the one that you drive that has a thing over, you know, maybe a 15, 20 foot, but I haven't seen many of those. I've seen like 25, you know, 30, I don't think so. I don't even know about 25. I'm gonna definitely have to test drive stuff. But I want it to have a bathroom and a shower. And I have been watching many, many videos about RV living, people that do this all year round, places to stay for free, to save, to save money, um, all kinds of, I mean, and I, I can see me doing this. I can see me doing this. So, and this will keep me out of Florida all year round. And it won't cost a bunch of friggin' money. And I can do it. I don't mind it. I can go to a new place every two weeks, you know. I can only stay, like, in the National Forest for two weeks at a time in, in, the, in that spot, you know. And you get to move on to another spot. Which, you know, fine, you know. They make, they make bear spray. They make bear horns. They make guns. They make knives. I can defend myself. And a lot of these people live off the grid because they use cellular, they use generators. It's all, it's all just amazing. Um, I'm going to take a break, an intermission, and when I come back, we will continue this. Okay. I'm back. I just got out of Walmart, just picked up a few things there, and I'm on my way to Sam's. Yeah, I have been watching the RV things about these people. These people choose to. Yes, there is people out there that do do it because they have no other choice. But there's also people out there that choose to do this and choose to live this way. They are so free. They are so happy. Why not? My plan is to get me a rig, <laughs> a Class C of some sort. And I'm hoping by the end of the summer I'll be able to buy one. I'll have some money saved, and I should be able to buy one. May have a little few pay, a couple years of payments, maybe. Hopefully not, but 
just, you know. But by the end of the summer, I am hoping to have one. I am going to um, work on it during the winter down here in Florida, get it ready for my trip to the mountains. I'm just going, there's dispense camping everywhere. You know, there's a lot of dispense camping. You can camp in Walmart. Dispense camping is camping where um, it's private property, uh, not private property, public property. You can't do private property unless you're invited. Public property, which are like state parks, national parks. There's all rules and regulations for each state, and you need to look into each one of those. There is a uh, guide out for all the Walmarts in the United States, and something else. I can't remember what it else is. There's something else. Maybe campgrounds? I'm not sure. And there's also a website, um, camping, freecampingsites.net. They don't have the Walmart stuff in there because they said their map that they already had it's so much of it's out there that you can get it anywhere there's no sense of repeating it but their site is for places and I looked into it and not might not all be free but it's anywhere from seven to twenty dollars a night and I'm talking about an RV you know for an RV or a camper or a tent I imagine it's all the same all the way across the board from what I have noticed researching it and I'm going to do that all summer. And I think when winter comes upon us again, I'm thinking about going out west, southwest. And then when summer, when winter's kind of over with, head back up, go to northwest. I don't know. That might be a couple years down the road before I do that. And then again, it's like, I people are like, you're right, you know, I said, but then again, if I find that it's too lonely or too stressful or whatever, I'll find a place and a long-term place and I'll park my butt there. I can go back to Florida, get my van, so I'm going to keep my van and I can just park my camper truck there and use, and just, you know stay there whether it's winter or summer spring or fall you know so this will keep me out of Florida I will have to come back in the winter time because this is where my home address is it's another thing you have to have a state and insurance you know my doctors are here so um, yeah so once once a year I'd have to come back but I would have all my appointments in the winter time which all of my stuff uh, is due about now, February, March, so, you know, that's when I'll come down and do that, and I can head right back out when my appointments are done. Uh, my husband is perfectly okay, and that's fine. I don't care if I can do this for another five years or so, and then when it comes time to sell the house and retiring, I may want to do this forever. I may want to buy a bigger rig. I may be more experienced and buy a bigger rig. Maybe buy a bigger rig just to park it and stay in certain places, you know, four months here, four months there, so I'm not driving it all around, you know. Or I may say, ah, oh, this, forget it, I'm tired of it. I did it, it was great, now I'm not, it's not for me to do forever. And I'll buy a house. So, it's all, it's all going to happen one way or another, and I have found a way that I can actually do what I want and live cheap and be able to do it. I just don't want to put more strain on household bills of having going to rent an apartment, paying for another apartment in another state. <clears throat> because I tell you what, my friends, we have learned something from that last little episode with the um, economy. And I don't want to go through that again. It ruined my credit. My credit score is coming back up. I've been working on it very hard for years, and it's actually paying off now. So, you know, I have been, and it couldn't be helped. It couldn't be helped. We are starting a business at the time because we had to, because there, my husband and his partner the, went belly up because of the economy. They had a shop, the whole nine yards, and we took the lightning part, and he took the gutters and soft fit and all that. 
so we kind of, when we started this, we were already working, we already had clients, you know, and actually this year, last year was a very good year, and it's already shown to be a good year this year, so as long as that keeps going well, we'll all be fine, but I don't want to get into where I have more big expenses, because if something, God forbid, does happen, I don't want to have to struggle. I mean, we already been through that and done that, and I never want to do that again. And so we do kind of live within our, we do live within our means, and I can save money because I pay all the bills. I buy all the groceries. So, believe me, I can save money. And plus, I have a business that I can, I, uh, you know, I do make a little profit here and there nothing big to speak about, but, you know, I save, I save as much as I can, you know, thank God I had all that money saved before Christmas, because things always slow down at Christmas time, you know, that money kept us from going, get, getting into debt because of the holidays, or getting into debt because, you know, it was the end of the year, and this, that, and the other thing, I had that money, I didn't want to spend it that way. And the very last bit of it that I had saved, I think I had like $1,200 left out of 4000 And my daughter's like, I got to move away from that girl that she was living with. And I gave her the rest of it. So <laughs> I started from zero coming um, beginning of February. So I'm back saving again. I got a nice little chunk saved. And I'm working on it. And by, so I say by the end of the summer, I will, um, I will be buying me a rig. Classy rig. I that's that is what this journey I am on is all about, and I feel so good. <laughs> I have not hardly yawned. Usually I am yawning and yawning and yawning. My eyes are watering. I feel so good. I got so much piss and vinegar. <laughs> I am so happy. Oh my gosh! For anybody out there that's not feeling well, has no energy. Go and do a sleep study because that could very well be what your problem is and it is like night and day. I can't stress it enough. I am so happy for my... I want a shirt that says, I love my CPAP machine. <laughs> well, I'm a little ridiculous anyway. So, but I am going to go because um, I want to put this video up. And this is just a little update on my journey. Uh, things to come. And um, you're going to all be there every step of the way from the time I go to buy my rig to redo it. Because I'm sure there's little customizing things I'm going to want done. Have my husband do and stuff. So I've been watching videos galore. I think I can do it. They make so much stuff that you can live off the grid. If I known this years ago, I probably would have done it years ago. They make a thing that if you're out of range of satellite, you can buy this thing. Yes, it may be a little expensive. I think the whole thing, by the time you buy the wires and the little extension thing, I think it's like $300, but then you have it. And if you're outside the range, you can put this up, and they say, you know, he'll get two or three bars of, for 4G, you know? And he can do his stuff, you know, because he does YouTube videos and, you know, you're banking, whatever. You know, these people are normal people. They they have money to sustain themselves. I have not watched anybody that was, like, homeless and panning for gold or panhandling. No, these people are out there. They can, they can take care of themselves financially and physically and mentally. So it's like, you know, cheap RV living is one of them, and the other one is Carolyn's, Carolyn's RV, or something like that, if I remember, I put it down, I never remember these things, I will put it down, and, um, and you'll kind of get an idea of kind of, maybe if you're interested, of what I'm kind of doing, there's just so much stuff out there that you can live off the grid, you really, really can't. And I'm telling you, this is exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'm going the wrong way. Shit. Uh, yeah, so I am going, I guess I'm going to Bass Pro Shop first. I think Dix is down that way. 
Alright, we put the lightning protection on, on that too. On Pro's Bash Shop. We've done a lot of stuff. We put lightning protection up at the airport in Daytona. We've done a lot of stuff around here. But anyway, um, yeah, so I, you know, Cheap RV Living, you go watch him. And by watching his videos, some of those people he interviews have videos of their own or YouTube channels of their own. You can watch them. Some of them are a little extreme. Some of them, you know, it, you have to, it's what you can live with, you know. Some people are living in vans that they modified, big vans, you know. And they're very content. They, they don't want a big rig. They don't want, you know, and that's fine. You just People accept you for whatever you want, whatever you want to do, you can do whatever. And I just love that. I just love. It's like live and let live, you know? Well, I'm going to end this video because I got some shopping to do. And i um, full of energy so I can go and do stuff. By now, I'd be going, oh, I'm just going to go to Sam's, get my shit, and go home and take a nap. I feel great. Alrighty, I'm going to go and I will talk to you all later. You all have a great Saturday afternoon.